a family business decades in the making, started by Steve Knutson. And I thought to myself, well, I want to do that. Over the years, the Knutsons brought in more employees who have become more like family. To this day, Steve is still hands-on, along with one of his three sons, Caleb. My dad's work ethic is just like, kind of blows me away. He comes in with a walker now and he's there boning the rounds. He can do it all and sometimes he will. The Knutsons say since the pandemic started, they've been working nonstop, even though they had to pivot some services and adapt to an online ordering demand. Yeah, I mean, we were essential and, and people had to eat. And so we, you know, compromised and we closed down the lobby and waited on people out a window and and then meat got excessively high, and, and then we have a lot of feedlots around here that the production place is closed down, and they needed animals done, so we were just very busy. At Knutson's, they process custom orders if someone purchases beef from a local grower, and they have retail inventory stocked with meat for purchase. Caleb says the pandemic has increased the demand for custom orders. People want to know where their meat comes from. So whether it's Painted Hills Natural Beef, Grass Run Farms, or Mary's Chickens, we know the growers and have the stories behind how the animals were treated, which is a really big deal when it comes to the quality of the, of the meat. He believes rising prices and shortages are driving people to purchase whole cows from local growers. But there could be a change on the horizon. The Biden-Harris administration recently dedicated $1 billion for a fairer, more competitive meat market. When the time say and it's hard and people are having a hard time finding meat, we have the ability to process that locally grown beef. Regardless, Caleb says they'll keep doing what they love. They encourage everyone to connect with a local farmer, rancher, or butcher. And of course, buy locally grown meat. It's our family business and we're always excited when people support us and discover us. I think that's a fun part. Thanks for working with us. And I hope we help you out. In Pasco for Cap KV Local News, I'm Madeline Hagen. How it really started is uh, I got out of the service in 69. I was in Vietnam and I had several jobs. I just didn't like working for anybody and moved out to Finley and had a farm out there and I started helping a, a guy butcher. And I thought to myself, well, I want to do that. And I started helping Jim Brown in 1973. So then in 74, I decided I want to build a truck and get started that way. And we didn't have any kids yet. We'd been married a year and, and so eventually it worked out. Was it kind of a leap of faith for you guys to start your own business? It was absolutely a leap of faith. And it took a long time to get where we're at, but uh, we're real happy where we're at. And we keep a lot of people employed and take care of a lot of farmers that raise these animals. Absolutely. And you guys are kind of like family here. Tell me how important it is for you guys to have just a family-like atmosphere here. That kind of reminds me of Cheers. If uh, people have ever watched Cheers, everybody knows everybody. And the people that come in here, we I've dealt with people for 40 years. 46 years. So it's good to see them again every year and we're near their grandkids now and it's just a good business.